Hello YouTube viewers and RSBuddy users, today we get a look at how to edit your Windows hosts file. First things first, some software that I highly recommend getting as it makes the process easier is to download and install Notepad++. This is a free text editor that will help the editing process. Now sorry if it seems like I'm treating you like a child in this video, but this is an in-depth explanation on how to edit the file, so please bear with me. Now that we have that out of the way, we can start. Open my computer or computer and go to your local disk where Windows is installed. This is usually your C or D drive. Double click on Windows and scroll down and double click on System32. There's Drivers, double click on that, and then an ETC folder. And in that folder there should be your hosts file. Now to edit the host file, double click on it and select the program which you want to edit it in. For the general public who haven't installed Notepad++, I will be doing this in Notepad for you, but if you are using Notepad++, the steps are exactly the same in this uh, procedure. Uh, just select Notepad++ in the Programs menu. Now the host file should pop up in the text editor, and what you need to do is find the added IPs that you do not want. There should be five of them, and all you need to do is highlight them and delete them. In many cases, these will be the only lines in your host file other than the comments up above, uh, but if there are other IPs like I do have in mind, don't worry about them as they probably should be there. Uh, now comes the tricky part for some. To save the host file, you must save it to your desktop and then move it over to your ETC folder, since you cannot save directly to your ETC folder because it's right protected. Uh, so in your text editor, go to File. Save as. The location should be your desktop. File name is hosts and file type is all files, then click save. For Notepad++ users, you can skip the following steps and I'll tell you when to listen again uh, because Notepad++ actually follows directions. But for Notepad users, you have to do the following step because Notepad likes to be smart and save it as a .txt file, so we need to get rid of this extension. Uh, to get rid of this extension, you must first be able to see it, and to see the extension, you have to go into your control panel, open Folder Options, View, then scroll down until you see the option for Hide Extensions for Known File Types, and uncheck the option. Hit Apply OK, then go to your desktop, and you should be able to find a file called Hosts.txt. Slowly double-click the name, or right-click and select Rename, then move the cursor all the way to the right and delete the .txt part of the name. Then click out of the file or hit enter. A warning message should pop up saying your computer is going to explode, but ignore it and hit yes anyways. This is where Notepad++ users should listen again. Your host file should now be a plain file without an extension. Go to your ETC folder again and delete the hosts file in that folder. Then drag your new hosts file from your desktop to the ETC folder and click continue on the message box. For extra verification, double click on the hosts file again and open it with your text editor to make sure the IPs are gone. Congratulations, you have now edited your hosts file. Thank you for watching, please rate, subscribe and have an awesome day.